This is a CBS News special report. I'm Jerika Duncan in New York. The rapidly intensifying war between Israel and Palestinian militants roared into a second day today, with the Israeli security cabinet formally declaring war. The death toll is now more than a thousand, with thousands more injured on both sides. Tonight, Israeli soldiers are still battling Hamas fighters near Israel's southern border after Saturday's surprise attack from Gaza. Israeli officials say dozens of Israelis and several Americans have been kidnapped and held hostage. A senior Hamas official claims the total is more than a hundred. CBS's Holly Williams is in Israel. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says his country is now engaged in a quote long and difficult war. Hamas gunmen broke through the barrier that Israel uses to contain Palestinians in Gaza. The militants, designated as terrorists by the US, fired waves of rockets into Israel and arrived by sea and even in paragliders. It was a coordinated assault. Civilians were slaughtered in the towns of southern Israel and Hamas also took hostages including women, children and the elderly. Israel's responded by targeting the Gaza Strip with hundreds of airstrikes. But the question is how Israeli intelligence failed to detect the planning for such a massive attack. Jerika. Thank you, Holly.